Uh, next year could be rough for homeowners. A sharp increase in property taxes on the, on the way. The situation is created by higher home values, which, in, which according to the county assessor, are prompted by factors like lumber, labor, housing shortages, government stimulus, and even bidding wars. Our Mark Bott has the latest. This for 27 years here in the office. I've never seen a, such a dramatic sale price increase. Mesa County Assessor Brent Goff tells me property tax is based on several factors, including the legislature's rate, any mill levies from local municipalities, and home prices. Home prices from 2020 to 2022, according to him, were unprecedented. As far as the property taxes, they're set by properties that sell. So when you have sales that come in to our analysis, the local assessor, we respond to those sales and we follow that market and every two years we have to reappraise the entire county. This year, homeowners may need to brace for appraisals that could lead to a huge unexpected rise in property taxes. The worst case scenario is that the legislature doesn't change the assessment rates, they don't lower the assessment rates, and all the taxing entities decide to keep their mill levies the same. If that pans out, then they're going to pay more tax. They're going to pay um, countywide, it would be 30%. But it may not end up quite that bad. House Bill 1054 would cap the increase at 5% and is currently under consideration by Colorado's House of Representatives. Those get some traction before the legislature, legislature um, um, goes out of session. That would be great news for the taxpayers. Goff told me the assessor's office will send out notices with the reappraisal results in May. If you don't think your home could have sold for that in June of 2022, you can go to his office in person and contest the valuation. Come see us if we have it too high. Our appraisers are trained to look at each property. We'll, we'll start taking protests May 1st and we have no interest in valuing the property too high. But a big question remaining is how any increase may affect our residents on fixed incomes. First on the Western Slope, Mark Bott, KREX 5 News. Property prices between 2020 and 2022 jumped more than 30% in the Redlands, Fruta, and Fruitville area, and more than 45% in outlying areas of Mesa County and for commercial property. 